How much do you know about British football? Are you new to the game of soccer? Excited that Messi is playing for Inter Miami? Watched a little bit of Ted Lasso or Welcome to Wrexham? Watched a bit of the Premier League on the TV? Well, if so, and you're still a bit confused, we've got a great list of football terms just for you. A few basics before we start. The referee is always a The hilarious and creative songs sung by the fans on the terraces are usually pretty fruity mm -hmm. and not for the easily offended. Very important. Do not call the beautiful game soccer in the UK. Is the word soccer a slang term? The full name for the sport is association football. So back in the 1880s, students from Oxford University came up with a name for the game. There was already rugby football. This time they called the game ASOC, short for association football, which later became soccer. And then of course later became football because rugby became just rugby. And soccer wasn't anything. No, but the Americans ran with the name. <laughs> They loved it! They loved it, yeah! <laughs> but I don't know why we're so funny about it, because it was originally an English name. I think it's just because the Americans do it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Just yeah. another way to poke some fun. Yeah, but football is the word that everyone, mostly, around the world calls the, the game. Our friend Glynn from the YouTube channel Top Flight Photography and Video says he likes the phrase, squeaky bum time. The term was coined by Manchester United football manager Sir Alex Ferguson in 2003 when his side were embroiled in a close battle for the Premier League title with Arsenal. The phrase has been explained as a reference to the sound of someone shifting restlessly on plastic seating during tense closing stages of a contest. Let's hear another phrase by a football manager. Park the bus. This is attributed to the former Chelsea manager, Jose Mourinho, after Chelsea's 0-0 draw against Tottenham in 2004. He commented, As we say in Portugal, they brought the bus and they left the bus in front of the goal. When a team parks the bus, it's as though a bus is blocking their defending goal. The players maintain a compact shape and demonstrate little ambition going forward. Parking the bus is a tactic that teams use when they're leading and attempting to protect that lead. Bend the ball, or bend it like Beckham, refers to the skill of the ball curving or bending in mid-air. Players who are especially adept at achieving this will often be their team's designated free kick taker or set piece taker as they are able to bend the ball around walls while taking shots at goal. The phrase bend it like Beckham stems from English player David Beckham's ability in this regard. Good old Golden Balls was really good at this. Mm. Have you seen the recent Beckham documentary on Netflix? I have, have you? Yes. It is brilliant. I mean, I knew he went through a lot during his career, but it's amazing how determined he was to rise above it all. I mean, there were some really tough times. He had the whole English football world against him at times, and the managers sometimes were against him. It's amazing how he just carried on because he loved the game so much and overcome it. And he is a lovely man, lovely family man. Very nice looking too. Yeah. <laughs> we love David Beckham. We do. Local Derby. And yes, Americans, I did mean to pronounce that Derby and not Derby. It's a term that describes a game that involves an intense local rivalry. For example, the North London Derby, Arsenal versus Tottenham, and the North West Derby, Manchester United versus Liverpool. Early doors used by commentators to describe the early stages of the game. For example, it's just gone 10 minutes, so it's still early doors. This one was suggested by YouTuber John Atkins Lost Norwich. Or is that Norwich Lost? Again. <laughs> boom, boom. On the ball city, never mind the danger. Kick it off, throw it in, have a little scrimmage. Keep it low, splendid rush, bravo win or die. End to end stuff. Describing a match that is so action packed and engrossing that it's impossible to take your eyes off it. A game of two halves. Each half of the game is completely different to each other. So like in the first half, one team might be doing brilliantly. In the second half, that team has just lost it completely and the other team is doing better. Clean sheet. When a team manages not to concede a single goal for the duration of the match. Consolation goal. A late goal in a loss that won't change the scoreline is a consolation goal. Kill the game. Used when a goal is scored to define the scoreline of a game and put an end to it. The scoreline might have been tight at 2-1, to one, but a strike to make it 3-1 to one has essentially killed it off.
Screamer or worldy? Usually reserved for the likes of Messi, Ronaldo and Hazard. A screamer or worldy is when someone scores a goal from a long distance that creates pandemonium in the stadium. Hoofing the ball. To kick the ball as hard as possible in the general direction of the opposition's goal. Hollywood pass. A long-range pass that draws oohs and ahs from the crowd but is rarely effective in the instance of the game. On the other hand, you have a howler. An error or mistake by a player when the correct solution was extremely obvious. A howler can also be used when a referee makes a bad call. A sitter. A sitter is a ball that he should have actually buried. You know, it's just sitting there, there's an open goal and pff, missed. Caught sleeping or sometimes caught dozing off. Usually when a player has made a silly or foolish mistake that could have been entirely easily avoidable. Big game player. A term dedicated to the sorts of players who are somewhat under the radar for most matches but come to life during crunch fixtures, scoring vital goals when they count the most. Class act. Is that you, Lucy? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Yes, always a class act. Of course. A phrase used in football to describe players who have done something respectable or remarkable on or off the pitch. Brace. A player who scores two goals in a game. I'm familiar with the term brace. Growing up, my dad would have a brace of pheasants for Christmas and that was like two pheasants hanging upside down, <laughs> ready to be plucked. Delightful. <laughs> yes. In his pocket. When a player has dominated their marked target for the duration of the game, it most often refers to defenders marking their forward counterparts. Nutmeg. Very festive. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> when one player tricks another player by passing, shooting or dribbling the ball between their opponent's legs. From motion. Since football in Europe is based on pyramids of leagues, they are all connected through promotion and relegation. While the Premier League in England is the country's top flight competition, teams that finish in the bottom three are relegated to the Championship. Promotion to the higher leagues is then achieved by finishing in one of the top spots. Brits, you might be interested to know that this promotion and relegation system doesn't really occur in many American sports. No, they, they're in a league and that's where they stay. But I think, you know, it's much more exciting in the scenario where you can get promoted or relegated. Because Something to win or lose there exactly, wherever you come. Exactly. My chair was very loud. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Total football. This is a brand of attacking possession-based football often credited to the Netherlands. It is a style made famous by Ajax and the legendary Johan Cruyff, where every outfield player is able to play in any position as required during the course of a game. In total football, there are no set defenders or midfielders. Each position is fluid, with players changing position as needed. Tick attacker A playing style made famous by Barcelona that involves short passing and quick movements. Dead ball situation this is when the ball goes out of play and is stationary. It is used to describe the event of a free kick or penalty. A dead ball specialist refers to a player who excels at scoring free kicks. Offside trap. If you've ever seen that film, The Full Monty, you might be familiar with <laughs> the offside trap. Yeah, they uh, use the Arsenal offside trap as a kind of metaphor, don't they? <laughs> yeah. To help them understand their choreography. Used to describe defenders positioning themselves to make sure that their opponents fall for the offside rule, therefore catching them offside. Knock. Knock is a small injury, like, oh, he's taken a knock. So he hasn't been sort of stretched off. <laughs> it's a bit of a knock. Yeah. yeah he'll get up again. Yeah, it'll be yeah. alright. Yeah, it'll be alright. Lost the dressing room. When a manager or key figure in the team has lost the backing of the team or coaching staff, Marino seemed to have lost the support of his dressing room during his final days at Manchester United, leading to his dismissal. Downing tools. When a player is not happy with their team or manager, they down tools by striking to make a protest. Man manager. A way to say that a team's manager handles his players' egos well. Minnows. This describes a smaller team considered the underdog when playing a more superior or favourite side. Fortress. When a team boasts a strong home form, the stadium is a fortress. Row Z. Or maybe Z. <laughs> when a player has hoofed the ball so hard that it lands in row Z of the stadium, i.e. the last row of the stands. So he's way off target. Yeah. Way off. Couldn't get more further Whoa. off if he tried. No, exactly. Soft. Used to describe a decision that probably was wrong or harsh. For example, that was a soft penalty, yellow card, or tackle. The wall did its job. 
When players stand in a line 10 yards from a free kick, this is known as the wall. It takes a brave person to stand in a wall. If the wall stands firm and blocks or deflects the ball, they have said to have done their job. VAR The video assistant referee is a match official who reviews decisions made by the referee through video footage and a headset for communication. Farmers League A phrase used to describe a league unfairly dominated by a single top club. Stoppage time this is the extra time added to the end of each half of a football game due to delays from goals, fouls, substitutions and injuries. There's no extra stoppage time for the Brick Girls, you'll be pleased to hear. Time to go! But first, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.